In this video, I will try to help another viewer who is having a difficult time fixing a sagging floor that has some type of a concentrated load on it. And because of the amount of plumbing pipes going through the wall and the fact that the wall cannot be made any wider. And I'm not about to suggest you can't remodel the house. Don't get me wrong there. Because sometimes by making the wall wider, you can add a double joist or a beam underneath one section of that wall. For example, you might not be able to do it on this side, but you might be able to add another 2x4 framed wall to this side and then use that to support the concentrated load from above. But according to this individual, they can't do that either. So they're stuck with a support post that cannot be moved and a wall with plumbing pipes going through it, which is going to make it extremely difficult to add a double joist underneath the wall framing. So they're kind of stuck with dealing with a situation like this where they're going to need to have blocks attaching to joist on each side of the floor framing. However, let's just say that in your situation, not their situation, that you might be able to install a concrete footing along with some type of a support post. Then something like this would be another option and might save you a lot of time and money. So again, if you have plumbing, electrical, HVAC, heating, you've got something that's in the way and you can't add a concrete footing or another structural support that will work for your project, then you might be stuck with doing something like this where you need to install a stronger support in the form of a wider board or a beam or a doubler or in some cases even a triple joist. And if you have the room, you might need to install a wider joist. For example, if you have a 2x6, you might need a 2x8 or even a 4x8 or a 6x8. And these boards might be extremely difficult to get in with all of the plumbing or whatever you have in the way that won't allow you to install a concrete footing. And let's not forget that I'm not a structural engineer and you might need to contact one for an approved repair suggestion even if they are going to use the same thing here. And yes, you're welcome engineers out there if this is something that you haven't thought of. So you might need to take apart a variety of different components in the house, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, floor sheathing, framing, joist, you name it, to install the beams or double joist. However, once you have installed the larger support joist, you can go ahead and use hangers to connect your blocks to them. And I'm kind of going through this hoping that you're not going to need to add additional support at each end of the beams. However, that could also be another option if it's going to make your job easier. And I would strongly suggest that you visit our website and take a look at some of the different options in our crawl space videos that you might be able to find a few different methods or options that will make your job a little bit easier. So with that said, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.